Hello there, Tyrant here, and I just finished watching the latest episode of King's Game. So they finally made it to the village, and... A big plot just kind of opened up. Um, so apparently, uh, from what we're given, is that Ch uh, Ch Jamie, I think that's how you pronounce her name, his girlfriend was the um, well her I'm, okay so the way it, it looks her their father did something to bring the king's game probably into this world and then it turns out that his two daughters continued the king's game and that led to Jamie and what's her name Nots no Natsuki not no, no, what? The current girl, that's crazy. So, what it seemed like it was going to happen was Chim was supposed to win the other, um, uh, or Chime? Chime, whatever. She was supposed to win the King's Game there, and his sister was, has won the other King's Game. And probably this was kind of like a test for them, but Nubayaki actually won the King's Game. And that's why she probably wanted to, this is my speculation, is that probably she wanted to team up with him to be able to survive this King's game once more. I'm wondering now if there can only be one. So, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know what that happened. But as far as the episode goes, just learning these new things is finally now giving us... We're back to the baseline. We're back to real world. No more flashbacks, which was interesting to watch the flashbacks. Yes, but it was we were out. If I enjoyed it, but now it makes more sense because now you're getting a sense of the first, the quote unquote, his first Kings game. But now he's in it again with another winner of another Kings game. That's what we're given as this episode. Not, damn, I, I just saw it. Not skull. Anyways, so from here on out, it's gonna be a fight now. Um, and a lot of people died in this episode. Like, whoa, like, like one, one, one. People killed their parents. Like, it's King's Game status already. And um, and Miz Mizuki actually like <laughs> had a bro breakdown. It's one of these things that even. Even hearing the tales of another person, of a survivor, she lost, she just lost it and you can't help it. And, and Nobuyagi just lost two of his um, supporters for the most part. He had, he had a plan, failed. Um, and he lost two people who truly supported him. Basically, it kind of happened like the first King game, his King, first King game. Um, and, uh, we're just gonna have to see what happens. If it is episode 7, that leaves, if it's 12 episodes more, it leaves still another 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5 more episodes. So, 5 episodes, there's, at the end of it, if I remember, remember right, it said there was 11 survivors. So, 5 episodes... And they kind of did spread out this one day really long by telling tales. I don't know if you can go... The only flashback you can go back is for these two last two survivors. Uh, where uh, Nobuyaki and Chimi and see what happened during those that time. That's kind of probably going to be one episode. But it's really interesting just to see. Now that we're in present time, seeing two... Uh, King's Game winners and see what's going to happen from here. And maybe we'll learn what, what caused all this and uh, go from there. But no, we'll, we'll see. It's kind of tragic actually to see these two um, die. I I was enjoying the character. They were sweet. Their, um, their development wasn't too bad. And what maybe for some people feels like it was a little played out a little too played out. I think it was good to know that there was still some feeling of hope. It might have been fleeting, but still there was this sense of hope. And it was demonstrated really well at the end scene. And it's very <laughs> lackluster how it ended for them. But 
you know like more respect um so yeah that's kind of it that's my uh thoughts uh so until next time thanks for watching